Chad Arms, a.k.a. WrestleManiac, a lamb body, a.k.a. Slickback, is in the building. No beard, don't care. What? Um, it is your boy. It is Monday morning. It is my day off. I got some business situations I got to go tend to. And I got to look professional for once in my life, you know? I am the king of not being professional, but you know, sometimes you just got to you just got to try it every now and then. You just got to say, hey, maybe I should, you know, not look like Grizzly Adams and, and wear a shirt with a collar, you know? That's not my Best Buy shirt. So, hey, when in Rome, you shit all over yourself, and then you just hope that you got toilet paper. So, what is everybody up to? <laughs> I'm going through a horrible, um, just, tra just road work everywhere you go now. It don't matter what city or state. Well, I don't know about other states, but in Tennessee, it is just the fucking road work capital of the world of all time. There's a Walmart to my left. I can smell the humanity. Um, so that's always good when you can smell the humanity and you're not even in the parking lot at Walmart. I mean, you can just smell, you smell obesity and just ratchetness. You just smell it. It's, there's a scent to it. It's, it's stank. It's what it is. Um, I don't know. Uh, so last night was a pretty epic evening. You had the WrestleMania 32 and you had the Walking Dead season uh, finale. Gotta say, WrestleMania surprised me. The three match, well, Shane and Undertaker was insane. Shane jumped off the top of the cage, just like I thought, spoiler alert, and looked like he died. And it, of course, he didn't win, but under it was an amazing match. I didn't expect him to win. I just hoped that he would. I still think he's going to get control of Raw in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but that was the match of the night. The latter match for the Intercontinental title was good. Sami Zayn was going, going insane, so that was cool. Divas match was pretty good. I'm not real big into Divas stuff, but it was good. Main event was just okay. Roman Reigns and Triple H. Uh, and... Lesnar and Ambrose was good, but it didn't. It wasn't nearly long enough of a match. Um, I'll do a review on my channel of the, of the full WrestleMania, but that's just the cliff notes. So it was good, and you had the epic part where the New Day, the New Day came out and fought, and they lost to the League of Nations. League of Nations was bragging, no three people could beat us, and then Mankind or. Cactus Jack, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Shawn Michaels came out. And it was fucking insane. I almost shit myself. Shawn Michaels is in better shape now than he was seven years ago when he was wrestling. Um, so that was awesome. And then um, Stone Cold went in there and hit some stunners and drank some beer. That was the best part of the night, probably. But anyways, let me just let me just rant about Walking Dead for a minute. Now, I'm not going to give spoilers. Um, because I don't like doing that. But then shoo shoo walking dead. Shoo shoo all over you. I love you, but I, I fucking hated you last night. I hated your goddamn guts last night. I mean, just the, 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 the worst cliffhanger you could ever do in your life. And that's what they fed us. And they did it on purpose because they're going to kill off a big character that nobody wants to see die. And they don't want to kill it, kill the character. At the finale, because then they know nobody'd watch starting uh, in Halloween, around Halloween time. So I get it, but shoot you on you, all right? Other than that, I love everybody. Ah, uh, epic evening. I had almost three coronaries. Um, other than that, you know, um, I'm out and about today. We're, we're going, we're going, I don't know where we're going. I, I just, I got some stuff I got to handle, and uh, I had to look human to do it, so... Wish me luck, and, uh, yeah, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 5th. Star Wars comes out tomorrow, everybody. We're getting 5 million copies at work, so no, have no fear. <gasps> We're getting 250 of the Steelbooks and 500 copies of the regular Blu-ray, and we're a smaller store. So that just tells you how much, how many of those things you're going to see everywhere. So there's that, and, uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Again, shout out Mr. Rogers. Rest in peace. It's supposed to be nice the next two or three days. There's bird shit all over my car windshield. But hey, you know, sometimes you just got to clean it off and just keep moving. 
I want you to fucking look at me, geez. Okay? Just, just old people in a fucking Nissan Cube. Is that what that is? Is that a 90-year-old woman driving a Nissan Cube? What is wrong with everybody? I love everybody. Love, peace, hair grease, whamma-damma-ding-dong. Woo!